Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Colombo, Sri Lanka, and I am part of the Hungry Tourists Best of Sri Lanka food tour. We are starting for lunch today at a restaurant called The Station, which is known for their crabs. It's right along the beach. It's in a beautiful setting. Uh, the crab is going to be mouthwatering, and we're getting started right now. Lucky and, yeah. and Nimesha, but and Nimesha. Nimesha. But we say Nimesha, it's okay. <laughs> What's up? Thank you so much for having us. Very glad to have you here. And the restaurant is called The Station because it's right next to the railroad exactly. track, right? Yeah. Such a cool restaurant. It's on the beach. You have sand at your feet and you have amazing views of the ocean, the breeze. Beautiful, beautiful place. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Wow. <laughs> What size are those crabs? Uh, this is about 1.4, 1.5 kilos. Oh. Yeah. Even the claws? claws? They were from 1.2 okay. to 1.4 kilos. The yeah. claws are monster, like yeah. huge claws, like the size of your fist. The chefs are getting started on the crab curry. These mud crabs are ginormous. Those claws, literally, if you make your fist, they're, they're, those claws are like twice the size of your fist. Wow, and then the meat in them, there's both male and female. They're just gonna prepare, the, prepare clean up the crabs first before they make it into the curry. Cool, okay. and these are the spices and ingredients yeah. that go in? gonna get started on the Sri Lankan crab curry now. And first, oil goes in, then garlic. Oh, the aroma of that garlic is unbelievable. And now he's about to toss in, I believe those are curry leaves. Curry leaves. Green chilies and tomatoes go in and he's just kind of sloshing that around. My mouth is already watering and he hasn't even added in most of the spices and the crab. So chili, cumin, and turmeric powder, and then black pepper, a small mountain of spices go in. Just kind of slosh that around, it soaks up, absorbs that flavor. Oh man, that is a, a base of just powerful, beautiful flavor. So this recipe is actually your yeah, family recipe, yeah, right? Yeah, I passed on from my grandmother to my mother, and then yeah. now she just yeah. Amazing. From down south. Yeah. Yeah. Southern. With a little family twist to it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here come in the crabs. Yeah. I want to put my face in there with the crabs. I mean, now just kind of stirring it and kind of shaking it at the same time just to like coat the crab in that spice, that thick, rich spice. Get an aroma full. It is unbelievable. He added in some water um, and that kind of dilutes the spice paste. The spice is just going to fully saturate into the crab, into the meat, into the roe, into those claws. Um, and all that flavor is going to just mingle into the crab meat. That's going to boil away uh, for about 30 minutes or so uh, to really bring out that flavor. And then coconut milk will be added. So they're also making a squid, a cuttlefish dish. What's the name of the dish? Hot butter? Hot butter cuttlefish. Hot butter cuttlefish, it's one of their signature dishes at the station too. We're gonna prepare that next. Taste it right here? All right, this is a famous hot butter cuttlefish. The fumes just went up my nose. We gotta taste test it right now. Get it, get it. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. The Sri Lankan Chinese influence dish. The harmony, the balance, the cuttlefish. So good. The full Hungry Tourist Sri Lanka tour is here now. Uh, and they're just bringing out some oysters as that crab curry is still brewing away. Mm. Some raw oyster with some achar sauce. Mmm. Oh, that achar. It has a fruity taste to it, too. Back in the kitchen again now, and they are making another type of oyster, baked oyster with cheese and... What else is in here? And chili. Oh, yeah, that, that, that. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. And the garlic in there. The garlic, too. Yeah? Really good.
from the rivers, fresh water king. Fresh water. Yeah, black pepper king. Let me serve you. River prawns stir fried in black pepper sauce. You can smell that black pepper cut up here. Oh, thank you, man. Look at the size of that head. Oh, massive. Oh, wow. Oh, that black pepper. I probably have a black pepper mustache right now. <laughs> I know what, what we got. What we got to do. Oh, dude, look at that, look at that roll. Yes, guys. Thank you. Right in. Boom. Are we gonna cheers? Yeah, oh, let's cheers. Oh, let's cheers, guys. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. Right. Remember you asking textures about a, a raw broth? I mean a fresh swimming yeah. broth. That is texture. Yeah. You taste the pepper pronounced, but at the same time it's just like harmoniously blended into that sauce. I didn't even yeah. see the lobsters coming. It's a surprise. <laughs> surprise lobsters. Surprise. <laughs> And as these are massive spiny lobsters, it looks like they take out the meat, then stir fry it with some, it looks like the black pepper sauce again. Um, and then you're just like scooping it out by the spoonful. With lime. Okay. All right, you ready? Thank you. For a little bit of lime? Wait, let me focus. Okay, some more. Oh, thank you, lime. Perfect, thank you, Ben. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's so tender. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, oh, that is unbelievable. Yeah, amazing. And with that citrus and the squeeze of lime. Oh, the, it just melts in your mouth. I'm good. Thanks. That is unbelievably succulent and naturally sweet. Oh, yeah. So good, man. <laughs> and Ujit just said that they're going to serve the crab now, so I'm, I'm heading back to the kitchen. We added in a bunch of coconut cream, coconut milk, and then a little bit of what I believe is a tamarind paste, uh, like sourness. And now just kind of like letting that slow boil. The aromatherapy is just out of control. Oh, awesome, and that's an ingredient I wasn't expecting. He just tossed in a handful of moringa leaves. How is it? This is unbelievable. Awesome. Uh, Look at the size of that claw. It's massive. So the flavors are great. Awesome. Actually, this is... Anybody, anybody wants uh, extra spicy? Come to Papa. Okay, that's for Mark. That's for Mark. Thank you, guys. Um, give him some... A little sambal. Time. Cheers, duty. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, look. A spicy crab first. Literally the entire plate. The claw takes up the entire plate. It goes, if you were to spread this out, it would cover the entire plate. Oh, oh the claw just, the claw just fell apart. I'm sure you could catch a ball with this, with this claw. It is huge and the meat in there is just, you, you smell the, all the spices, you smell the curry leaves. I'm gonna see if I can dismantle this guy. Oh. <laughs> Next method, just suck the meat from the top. Oh, wow. The actual meat. It's like unbelievably flaky. Unbelievably sweet. Will you? Yeah, I'll tie one for you. Will you bib me? I will bib you. <laughs> I will bib you. <laughs> Focus. All right. You're Thank to go, you man. very much. There we go. Always be sure to get a bib before you crack a crab <laughs> in Sri Lanka. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's just sliding out. This thing is. Actually, maybe you just gotta kind of hit it. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Mark's got it down. Oh yes. yes. Look at that. Oh. How perfect. That's such a thick shell. Okay, I think it's time to one bite this. I'm gonna add some of the sauce to it though. That's just, just speechless. The flavor is unbelievable. And the natural crab is unbelievable. Good idea. And the way it's cooked is just 
It will blow the taste buds off your tongue. The full sambal next. I was in Sri Lanka probably in 2012, 2013 for, for a while and it, I, I vividly remember the amazing food but there was one thing that I ate every single day at every single meal and that was pol sambal which is coconut sambal. This is my first time to eat it back in Sri Lanka for my, this is my second trip. It's shredded coconut, there's chili in it. They put some dry shrimp in it. It's so flavorful, it's wonderful. You literally can eat it on everything. Now I'm gonna move on to the actual, this one is their grandmother's recipe, the real Sri Lankan crab curry. You can see the moringa leaves in here, you can see the curry leaves in here, you can smell them. Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, wow. Definitely. Oh. You taste the curry leaves. You taste the, the blend of spices. It's not too overly rich. It's almost like a soup at the same time as a curry, at the same time as the you're eating the crab. Body section here. Compared into this guy. Oh, it's just dripping and oozing with, oh, look at that. It's so it's just like stringy flakiness. And that's just been like saturated with that curry sauce because it's been boiled for over an hour with all that. I'm just gonna rejuice it actually. You can never rejuice enough. You can never overjuice it. <laughs> that original recipe is just stunning. Take some of that. Soak it in here. Yeah. They're teaching me how to eat it the Sri Lankan way. Okay, cool. Okay, break bread. The full sambal with the gravy. With the this is with the dry shrimp. Yeah, yeah. And then with the curry sauce. And then take some crab meat. And then load up. No, load up some. Load up some crab meat on top. Yes. Yes. One more, and then one more dunk into the one more dunk in the sauce. Yeah. Yeah, you go. Okay. There we go. Ultimate Sri Lankan crab curry full sambal bite. Oh wow, it will blow your mouth away. That's good. Unbelievable flavor. The curry, the fresh coconut, so you got that crunch. The like crab that's just saturated with the curry sauce. And it's so like tender that it just, it just strings apart in your mouth. Yes, oh thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was nice. Wow, what a, what a stunning, stunning meal. I think the station is really the first place that every tourist that comes to Sri Lanka has to come to, has to go to. Because here they open the door for Sri Lanka love. Here they make you feel welcome and here they, they give you the, the pure flavors of Sri Lanka. Thank you so much, man. Hey, man it was amazing. It was amazing. Matt, I'm a big fan. It's an honor to have you here, man. Thank you. Thank awesome. you so much. Pleasure, man. Pleasure, pleasure. Thank you. See you in the night? Yes, we'll see you this we'll evening. See you in the night, Thank you so much. Let me introduce you all to Ruzaina, the minority taste. Hi! She's an amazing person. She loves to eat. She's passionate about Sri Lankan food and we're going to be hanging out with her a lot during this trip. She's planned uh, a lot of things, a lot of fun, a lot of food. Uh, but we finished up at the station. We had amazing crab and just hanging out with everybody. And now we, it's a few hours later, it is time for dinner. Where are we going tonight? We're going to this place called Tunapaha. So it's like a proper Sri Lankan restaurant. A little upscale, but it's run by the Sri Lankan government. But uh, the food is super good. It's local cool. and really good. Cool. And Hello. Hello. Mark. Mark, I'm Nishan. Nice to meet you. Dajam. Thank you very much. Oh, the whole thing. Greeted with a stack of betel leaves, which represents prosperity, prosperity long life, longevity. longevity and it's, it's a part of the culture. It's a part of the culture. Thank you very much. They got all the spices laid out here. They're gonna be making a crab curry, but also one of the dishes that's very famous to eat in Sri Lanka is a pork black curry. And he's gonna cook it in a clay clay pot. That's the traditional style. Plus in mustard seed. Mustard seed? Yeah. Cream seed. Uh, curry leaves and, yeah. and crab and pandan. 
Okay, so he started off with coconut oil and waited for that to simmer. Then he added in mustard seed, cumin seed, and then curry leaves and pandan leaves. And as soon as he dropped that into the oil, you could smell the aroma, just a poop of like curry fumes came out of that oil. It smells so good. Then he just added in the onions. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is about to go in. Lemon grass. What about it? Trust the pepper. Tomato. Give me water. This one, water milk. Now it simmers. Yeah. Now it simmers for, it cooks for how long? Uh, it's gonna have, uh, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, and then finish. Yeah. The aromas are almost too much to handle. Chef is out offering me a taste test. Wow. Yeah. Spicy. It's incredible. No spicy. Good. Very good. Finished with the crab curry. That is a stunning dish. The coconut milk is so thick, so rich, so much spice in there. Now they're gonna start with the pork curry. Pork black curry. So that's just been roasted curry powder. Tamarind. 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 He first took the pork, then he mixed in the spices, the curry powder, the roasted curry powder, which is just curry powder that's been um, roasted in a, in a pan. And now he's just heating up some coconut oil that, uh, that's good, then gonna be fried. Cardamom block. Garlic. Uh, but one of the key differences is that he added cardamom pods, which have been crushed. And now he is adding in some green chilies. Oh, that aroma. Salt. So then the, the spices that he mixed with the pork, that's just for the marinade. But even all of the spices go into the sauce as well. So the, the layers, the depth, the complexity of spice on, on those two layers. That curry's gonna cook for about 20 more minutes. Uh, just simmer away, let that pork mingle into the spices and the fat melt into the sauce. Oh wow, total different taste because of that smoked out roasted curry powder. Amazing, very good. And you taste like the, you taste all the spices and then you taste like a tomato-y undertone of it. Okay, the dishes are ready. The entire group is here. We're going out to, to start eating. Rice flour and coconut milk, uh, salt and sugar. Buffet style, but just for our group. So they set out all the food. Um, yeah, so that's that's very Excellent. convenient. Oh, and there's that black pork curry. I'm sorry, pork black curry. It's not a black pork. It's a black curry. Is they brought out kotu roti, which is it's a really flat, very thin roti. And what they do is they chop it up, they mix it with curry sauce, they mix it with spices, they mix it sometimes with egg. This is a special version and then they sprinkle it with chilies, there's tomatoes, there's onions on top. Oh yeah. It is awesome. It's yeah, just packed full of flavor. The egg is curled in there. Oh. It's unreal. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Burrito style. So this is the pork black curry inside of an egg hopper with some of the sambal on it. That pork black curry that we saw them making. I am going to look at this entire fried curry leaf. 
I'm gonna wrap this up. Yeah, I just mopped it up. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It has such an incredible roasted chili flavor. The complexity of spices, the layers of spices. Brilliant combination of everything you want in your mouth. Best of both worlds mm. right there. Mmm. And one of the best things about, about hoppers is how the edges are crispy, but on the bottom it's like mm -hmm. pancake-y and like spongy. See, now I'm doubled up. Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're dripping. <laughs> you see? It's coming. <laughs> oh. And then you get to the egg, the yolk. It explodes. Mm. Duty just had a vision, and he's gonna make me a make me a hopper. Crab curry juice, it's it's so tasty. We're not gonna get a little bit. We're just gonna get enough. I'll bring some plain over. Oh, and two, double. And double. <laughs> We're gonna dry this one with roti. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You see? We're gonna dry. They said it's done. Nobody it's thought about illegal. it. It's almost illegal. This is gonna be illegal. <laughs> So you see, it's not uh, runny anymore. One more yeah. scoop of that chili sauce. Oh, this one, yes. Well, challenging spices. I never, never argue with someone. That one is good. Who loves what I love. Duty special. I can feel it squishing in your fingers. Mm. Oh. Oh, totally. Oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> you have to come to this place. Just finished with dinner. I'm here. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, you can see the reflection, but next to the lake. The restaurant is beautiful. The food was unbelievably tasty. We ate those dishes that uh, we, we saw them cooking, but then more dishes, the egg hoppers wrapping them all up. The spices, the flavor, the chilies, an amazing and outstanding meal and such a relaxing, chilled out environment. Uh, it's been actually an incredible day, starting with the crab, an amazing lesson in Sri Lankan crab curry, the family recipe. Thank you so much to the station and everyone at the station. I wanna say a massive thank you to David, the Hungry Tourist for arranging this tour on his Best of Sri Lanka food tour um, and to everyone else who helped, who organized, who set everything up. Thank you very, very much. I'll have all the links in the description box below. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. And also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Colombo. See you on the next video.